Good morning, my name is Jennifer Wilson and today I want to walk you through um, my lesson plan demo. So if you go into the folder, click on the very first document that you see here. This is my actual lesson plan demo. And the lesson that we're going to review today is about Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. At this point in the unit, the students have already read Fahrenheit 451. We've pretty much done all the work with it, but this is at the very end of the unit, so this is the culminating final project for them. So the first thing, of course, we want to address are the standards. Uh, we're going to focus on three. Two of them are writing standards, and one is a speaking and listening standard. The essential question, uh, how does the use of censorship affect our view of society and culture as it applies to literature? Again, my main focus with this is to have the students become more invested in their time spent on literature. So let's look at how it affects their world and uh, the censorship that can occur from that and, and the banning process itself. So. Learning targets, uh, the students are going to be able to write arguments in order to support claims that certain works of literature should be banned based on their knowledge from Fahrenheit 451. They're going to be able to use technology to produce a written project, the poster, and a digital media project, which is the commercial. And they're going to be able to strategically use digital media to create everything. So as a warm-up, uh, I want the students to basically do what um, we do every single day. My students keep a journal, a running journal, and they come in. Um, they know to sit down, write the date and the quote that's on the board, and then they analyze the quote. They have to agree or disagree with what they think the quote is trying to tell them, um, but they can't just say I agree or I disagree. They have to use only third person uh, pronouns, and they can they have to use the context of the quote and the words from the quote themselves um, to be able to analyze it. So it's it gets a pretty deep discussion sometimes and then the students one student will come up and um, actually do the discussion they'll lead it then I want to show them uh, this very short it's only two minutes maybe of the um, video about book banning it gives you some pretty cool insight into some books that you would have never thought would have been banned and why they were banned so very quick very you know painless but it gives them some background so on the first day, we want to do this class discussion uh, with the warm-ups and then have the students get into a group of no more than five. And then you want them to uh, just kind of discuss the pros and cons of banning books and the influence of censorship in general on society as it relates to Fahrenheit 451 especially. And then they're going to make a quick list on butcher paper that you give them. And then they just post it around the room. This is like an anchor chart for them to reference later. So then, um, since it's the first day, we want to discuss the actual project itself using the handout that I've given you here, and I'll go over that in a moment. And then uh, you're going to allow them the last few minutes of class to start troubleshooting with their partner, you know, what book they would like to target. Then days two through four, in this order, uh, they're going to continue the discussion of the book they've chosen to target. Then they're going to go to the computer lab and use the questions to ask themselves um, handout that I provide you here to guide their thought processes. Uh, they have to basically look up the, the answers to the questions or do a self-reflection to answer the questions. And then that kind of fills in the void for their reflection and their research. So then they're going to write a one-page minimum reflection over why they chose to ban their particular book and what message they're trying to censor by banning it. Once all of this is complete, then they're going to brainstorm how they want to create their commercials and poster. Uh, again, I gave you a, com a um, link to the Truth TV commercials. This is very, very brief, very quick. Uh, you can kind of view it ahead of time. I gave you one that I thought was pretty interesting, but it shows them the truth TV of, uh, if, if commercials were honest about their product kind of thing. And then uh, day five, we want to use this to dedicate um, time to explaining different techno technological platforms for their digital media section because all, I know my students don't really understand a lot of it. So for the poster, I, let, you know, I said, okay, you could use Microsoft Word, Microsoft Publisher, Canva, and I give you a Canva tutorial if you're not familiar with this. Um, and for the commercial, we video like we've used here in this course and Animoto, which is more about, you know, animated images. So students are allowed to use whatever as long as you deem it appropriate and they explain it to you ahead of time. Software isn't important as I noted here. So then day six or ten, I explained that I think this lesson will take about two weeks and that is based on my personal classroom. We're not on block schedule. I see the students, I have a seven period day. I, at the most, I see them for 15 minutes at a time and not including any mini lessons or daily or work or anything like that. 
um, they're not going to have a whole lot of time in class to work on this. And since my school is about 70% free and reduced lunch, I have to allow them that option to use the technology that we've gotten through grants. So of course they'll have their assessment which is um, based on that rubric that is included in the handout. So very quickly I just want to go, if you will click, um, let's start all in questions to ask yourself real quick. Basically if you click on this it will take you here which is in the other documents um, folder in my drive. So it explains them that either using self-reflection or the internet, they have to answer these questions. Uh, why did you choose this book specifically? Again, does it have a personal connection to you or your life? Something like that. Um, how long has it been published? You know, it's obviously not banned or you wouldn't be able to read it. So what, you know, how long has it been in publication? Um, has this book ever been put on a ban list? And if so, by whom? Um, was the what was the author's purpose in writing this particular book this is going to be difficult for them to find but if they can find it i think it'll make it a little more um interesting to them what characteristics of the book do you believe should be banned and why and then i want to take it a little farther and have them uh, connect with it on a personal level i want them to look at what social media platforms so the ones they use every day snapchat facebook twitter instagram whatever they use which one of those carry the same message to a degree at least of what they're trying to ban in this very book just to kind of you know bring it home for them so then again in the other documents folder if you go back to the uh, anchor document of the lesson plan demo you can find it here or in the other documents but in the censorship um, and banning of children's book final project you'll see this handout that you can give the students in this handout it does a brief overview so in case they need to be reminded of why they're doing it or what they're doing it for you know this is kind of their anchor sheet that they can keep with them and then it gives them the minimums uh, for the poster uh, how big it has to be uh, the text it has to include the three images um, that you want them to have that it has to incorporate ideas from both members of the group that drives me crazy I don't like group work where you know one person does all the work and and everybody gets the credit uh, as a bonus I want them to try to find a way to incorporate their social media platform that they associated with the message and for the commercial a lot of it's the same but it has to be a minimum of two minutes long it has to incorporate ideas from both members of the group um, it has to include a minimum of three images can be the same from the poster again connectivity that's fine it has to use sound I don't care if it's music sound effects their voiceover whatever the case may be and again incorporating that social media platform here is their rubric that they can go by um, Again, it's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest with you. I try to make it pretty simple. But if you'll look here, I put this is a summative assessment worth one major grade. That doesn't that may not seem like a lot to some people, but in my class, a summative assessment on a major grade, their major grades uh, create 50% of the class. So for a major grade to go in, it really hits their grade hard. So whatever it, it's fine if you want to make this two major grades or whatever the case may be however it balances out to make sure they're invested in it because this is a final project for the unit so that's pretty much the lesson plan demo in uh, 10 minutes or less uh, if you have any questions don't hesitate to email me and if you choose to use this lesson in your um, classroom please let me know how it goes thank you and I hope you have a great day